All right, welcome back to Jump One Half. I've been listening to the Sofa World track while getting my OBS set up, and it is so good. I like it a lot. Gutter Ball by Miracle Water apparently has resets, which I think that means it's a really hard level, or a level where you're just gonna die really fast. Guess I should be scared of this one. All right, react fast there. Well, that didn't work. That didn't work either. Forget that, because I can't get to it in time. I'm just gonna die if I try, so may as well just not die. Okay. Well, I guess it's called Gutter Ball because you can fall down the hole really easily. It's gonna be hard to commentate on a level like this one. It's really hard for me to talk and uh, do stuff at the same time. Let's just collide it with his face. Wow. I was not fast enough at all there. I think it's worth skipping that, to be honest. It seems really hard to get to it. it seems really consistent not to bother. The biggest problem seems to be falling down the hole in this level, so... Maybe I'll eat my words later, but for now, I'm just going to keep going. Whoops. I was oh, right. I need to switch my inputs around. <laughs> it really doesn't help to be pressing the spin jump button at the right time if... Uh... Oh, okay, this works to get the power up, I think. But if it's a mushroom, it just falls off, so what's the point? Oh, this is a block snake. Oh, no. I, for some reason, I wasn't expecting it to eat the block I was standing on. Not really sure how to do that one correctly yet. Right, stand up here. Man, he was jumping at the wrong time there. And he will every time, obviously, because it's going to be pretty consistent. Alright, I can't wait. Go, grab this. I see an arrow, hopefully that means it's a midpoint soon, but it probably just means I'm supposed to go fast. Alright, I was supposed to do duck back to the left there. I'll have to remember that for last time. I mean, next time. I'll have to remember it from last time. The last time I played this level. Okay, drop those. Dang it. I tried to go between them and there wasn't enough room. I was right in the center too, but uh, there just wasn't enough room to begin with. Alright, that still didn't work. That's, the snake was going to disappear before I, I would have had another opportunity, so I had to just try it. Just go a bit faster there and we're good. Okay, that wasn't the right strategy. Oh boy, they're just gonna keep going. To cross the river of lava, you must use a raft made of throw blocks. Press X or Y while standing on it to pick up a block. Okay, that's the normal controls, so I don't understand why you're telling me that. <laughs> Use a raft of made of throw blocks. How is that supposed to work? Don't let the bowling ball touch your raft or you'll sink. Hit it with blocks to keep it back. You can only have two blocks at a time. Oh boy, we're definitely gonna have to do some learning here. Oh, okay. Okay, so I need to actually get closer to it. Like, I can't just... I have to actually aim for the bowling ball. Oh, shoot. Um... <laughs> oh, here's where the retry section is. Alright. And I keep the same number of lives, so that's good to know. So death here is not really a death. It's just more about uh, actually accomplishing my objective. Whoops. That was a really bad shot. Wow. 
Dang it, you were supposed to throw the block there, Demo. Second there, I was worried I, I despawned it or something. At least it's much easier to hit the thing once it gets a little bit closer. Man, this level is really about multitasking. You have to be able to uh, keep throwing those blocks into the bowling ball. Oh, shoot. I was wondering why I was supposed to drop that on myself, and I didn't even. I was so busy uh, thinking about that that I didn't realize that the on off switch was there. <laughs> Man, this is absolutely no joke. That's... No, my raft, why? Well, at least I got to see it. Dang it. Throw, 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 and there's the finish, yay! <laughs> wow, that was intense. I would say it's by far the hardest level in this game so far. It may not have taken me the most tries, but I do still think it was the hardest, just in terms of raw platforming. The Switch of Blue Hue, another creative name for the Switch, by FT29. We've got a movie for this one, so hopefully it's not too unfathomable how to get through this. We've got a cape, and let's leave, apparently. Whoops. <laughs> that wasn't what I meant to do, but I got a free cape out of the deal, so yay. Alright, so we gotta bounce on this guy, and then I assume bounce on him again here. Oh, these guys go down. Alright. Okay, so we just need to continue floating down and dodge all the obstacles. I'm starting to get the level. Okay, I guess we're not exclusively doing that. Left, right to go around the thwomp. Hold right. Alright. I'm hoping this level is entirely timed so that you just hold the button the entire time. Oh, now I gotta go ducking. Dodge you. Whoa, this is really, really weird. Alright, gotta get out of the way of these guys. Get back out of the way of those guys. Um, I guess just wait there for a moment. That was pretty simple. Okay. That worked. Now we go in here to dodge the fireballs. Alright, I guess we do this and then go back. Good, I did that just in time. 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus... Uh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At first I was like, okay, I've got to actually calculate this, but when the integrals start getting busted out, it's like, okay, this is a joke. <laughs> I, I'm assuming the answer is like 6.25 or something like that. And it just depends on how you round it. Just kidding, I would never make you do integrals like that. What if Wolfram Alpha's server was down? <laughs> Plus, I, I can't really scribe that fast. I can't really... Okay. Oh, this, these are cape blocks. Well, that's nice. So I'm not sure if there's something up there. We've got all the time in the world to figure this out. Let's just bounce on this guy. I think it's the easiest way to get over there. So far, this is all just platforming. I haven't really seen any puzzle elements yet. Alright, so apparently we want to go down here from up there. Or maybe we want to go up there from down here. Not really sure figured as much that didn't work. Oh, I think we're supposed to ground pound. 
However, we're supposed to actually manage that in this area. Am I supposed to get flight speed? I'm not sure how that would be done. Let's see what's in the door. This doesn't look like a reset door. Link. Okay, I think we just need to stand there. That doesn't work. Um, can I actually get up there now? Oops. No, I don't think so. Do I just die then? Okay, that's a reset. Oh, okay. Now I can just use the... Alright, so the point of that was what? I mean, it's a nice detour and all, but... Am I supposed to somehow try and get P-Speed on these? That seems extremely difficult. It seems like the idea would be I get P-Speed, go up, and then come down and ground pound on this great platform. But I don't see how to do that at all yet. Oh, okay. So as long as you just... I think you just really need to hold right here. Wow, I'm amazed that works, to be honest. But I'll take it. So, the question is, is that a tutorial or does it actually help me? Probably both. Alright, so let's try going up here first. Oh, okay, they just fall straight down. I didn't understand what they did yet because I haven't really been taught anywhere else, but that's okay because we don't exactly die here. So let's plonk onto this guy, and then kerpow. There we go. This is pretty neat. <laughs> Alright, let's just do the same timing as before. And that wasn't quite enough. We gotta be a little bit trickier here, apparently. Let's try to just line them up. Maybe if I go to the back one and then run backwards, I think that's actually a little bit easier. Alright, so we aid. Oh, they're coming back now. Let's time this well, and okay, it didn't matter whether we aid or bead there. As denoted by the lack of coins, I suppose. Okay, so those guys went up there. Good for them. Do I kill this guy? Nope. So I can't really get on them before they get up there. That didn't work, but we just get our cape back anyway, so whatever. Oh, well, I thought that was supposed to represent the place where we came from, but I guess not. So what is the point of this? How am I supposed to bounce twice up there? And what is this disco for? That's another good question. It doesn't look like it could possibly lure the disco up here. It doesn't look like I can get cape flight in this room either. Alright, so let's just drop this here and just kill those guys with a spin this time. Okay. Well then the Monty Mole walks over there and dies to the disco. Maybe that's what it was actually there for. Then if that's the case, how am I supposed to get up there fast enough? Do I just go fast? Whoops. Well, if I wanted to kill the Monty Mole, I could do it easily enough that way. So there's no reason for the disco shell to be there unless it's an ob an obstacle that I and I don't want the mole dead. Okay, so I can't actually get up there in time. Pretty sure that I'm not supposed to do that.
Okay, so I managed to hit just one of them. I guess this allows me to go back through and kill the disco with this guy. I don't see how that helps me. But it sounds like a plausible thing I would have to do. I don't know why, though. Oh, I can fly now. And if I spin fly... Okay. I didn't really piece that together until the last second, but that's good enough. <laughs> Alright, another puzzle here. Oh, that's interesting. Do I want to kill the mole, or do I want to... No, I don't want to kill the moles. It's the same as last time. I want to make myself a, a bridge there, so that I can actually fly. And then I'll spin fly along there, and I think I'm good. So I gotta time it so that it's when... I mean, he's right in the middle. Dang it, I was just off. There we go. Alright, so now I have myself a mole platform. And I messed it up. I need to run back and forth a bit more. Really, the trick is just to go when they've just bounced off the back wall. That makes it pretty easily easy. Just run back and forth once, and this should be easy. Alright, on to the next room. Alright, do I just need to run? Okay. And then I fall. Uh, let's just drift down slowly to see what I'm doing. Nine red coins. Yellow coins. Red, yellow. Green. Those might not mean anything. I'm starting to think that they don't mean anything. <laughs> okay, so this is to drop all the platforms at the same time. And then I need to... Oh, it's a 3-2-1! It's like Mario Kart. <laughs> okay, I get it now. That's pretty clever. There we go. Wow, pop-up one-up mushroom. So does that mean I can actually die now? Oh no, it means that I can actually continue. So it looks like I need to keep my flight through this room, perhaps. Whoops. First step to keeping flight is not to hit that muncher. Okay, so I know uh, that I can keep it on the vines. So let's wait until I'm going the right direction. Okay, that wasn't quite it. Also, there are brown blocks here. Good to know in case I ever find a P-switch. I don't, I don't need to grab this vine. Why am I doing that? So we just tap forward every time we hit a dry bone, so and that's all we need to know. Alright, so if I'm going left, just re-grab. If I'm going right, do that. Now we hit that. Gives us a P-switch. We've already seen where we need to use the P-switch. And that works out nicely. Um, should I go down here? Yeah, I think so. I just need to use these pipes to get back. They're not just reset pipes. Hey, 1-ups! Let's not go in the pipe, let's actually grab them. Yay! Thank you, FT! Huh? A. Oh no! I have to chew through all of these blue switches! Well done, but did you manage to collect the moon? If yes, that means you placed a moon in this level with lunar magic! <laughs> <laughs> At first I was thinking, like, I didn't even see a moon, but then it's like, okay, there really wasn't one. Man, that was a really good puzzle level. Thanks, FT. Let's not save. And now that I have the red switch and the blue switch, I'm gonna go back to some earlier levels. Dynamic Dungeon, we did not get all the dragon coins. Which is... Wow, I kinda half switched to Boon there. So, this was the castle that I blew up that I clearly had to return to later. And now it's going to be a little bit harder. Though I also have this handy dandy uh, fire power up that will probably do nothing at all in this level. 
So things are a little bit harder, but this is still not a very hard level, I suspect. I don't remember these being placed in places that would make things, like, way, way harder. And it was not very hard to begin with, so... <laughs> I'm expecting that this will probably be fine. Whoops. Dang it. <laughs> now I have to wait. <laughs> There we go. Just don't panic. That's the trick to ducking under those things is just never panic. <laughs> because as long as you go back, take your time, get the speed you need, it's really easy to slip past them. And I messed that up apparently. That was probably not an obstacle I should have messed up. The thump bounces a little bit lower now. Got just a little bit of time there. Oh wow, that was actually a lot harder. <laughs> Whatever. I've got a power-up to get into the midpoint, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I think this is no different than before. Potobo hopping for kicks and giggles. Alright, so let's stand on the edge of this and... No, that doesn't really work. Well, whatever. It's not like I need to get that dragon coin anymore anyways. Alright, the ball and chain is out of the way now. Play defensively against the Potobo there. Messed up both of the other thwomps, but this one's a little bit easier. I've got a little bit more height because of the whole dragon coin puzzle there. That was pretty close. I doubled back an extra time when I really shouldn't have. Okay, please go quickly. Ah, dang it. <laughs> I should have gone quickly myself. Alright, this time let's actually get moving. And that ball and chain was not timed well, so I had to stop in a very precise location. <laughs> Which I did not do. Go through here. Go over here. And there's our bridge. Let's see if it's the dragon coin or if I actually missed the dragon coin. Yep, it's- oh, it's a dragon coin and an exit, and I happen to get the 50. <laughs> Again, I'm getting the 50 a lot in this playthrough for some reason. It's really rare for me to get it. I'm not some guy 712X, he pretty much always gets it. Well, pretty much always is a bit of an overstatement, but... Koopa Hiking Trail. Alright, but before I forget, there's another level that required a switch. So I might just go back and forth between these two areas for a bit until one of at least one of them gets resolved. So where on earth was that again? It was this level. This group of trees is cold. It's the secret exit for this one. Oh, this level was pretty t tricky. So repeating this is definitely going to be a thing. I don't think the blue switch exclusively makes it harder, I think it just makes it different. In contrast to the last level where the only thing it ever did was make it harder. <laughs> Die. Okay, this is definitely harder. Ironically, the ice in this level is way more dangerous than any of the ice that's actually in the ice world. <laughs> this area is definitely easier, though. Duck. Good enough. I didn't even necessarily want to go that way this time, but... Okay, so I can't actually stand on it here. I have to jump on it when it's coming back, and this will be a lot harder now with the red Koopa. I don't think this timing is good either. Especially because I can't throw the fireballs up through the semi-solid. I think I'm going to have to despawn this guy and respawn him, or maybe even not respawn him. Can I get you to just peace out? Nah, that didn't really work. Whatever, that did. <laughs> Alright, there's my midpoint. Oh, I think I see how I'm actually supposed to do this now. 
Oh, shoot. I wasn't supposed to go that way. Well, whatever. I can just start select and then I uh, go the other way now. No! What? The midpoint puts me here? Oh, that sucks. Alright, well now I know I don't want the midpoint, and I don't want to go up there. So let's hope that I don't die in this section. Whoa, what? Oh, okay, it was just an old-fashioned power-up filter. Let's go up here. I think this is something of a puzzle, too. Wait, was that a pop-up one-up mushroom? So I, maybe it won't matter so much if I die. The only trick was just not getting that midpoint to begin with. <laughs> so we've got a reset door. I want to go over here. And then we bounce off. Oh boy, this is really scary. Whatever, that worked. Ah, uh, no. I only have my one mushroom. So I've just got to do it better. This is timed pretty nicely. It looks like I also want to... Oh, there's a Yoshi back there. I don't know what it's for. Alright, so this time we need more momentum. There we go. That worked. I'm still not sure it was exactly correct. Maybe I was supposed to go a little bit sooner than that. Whoops, that was really dumb. Hmm, I'm not sure how to... I can't spin jump low enough. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. I just need to use the platform. I was supposed to duck under these two. Let's at least get a preview of what's coming up. Point. There's the keyhole. Finally starting to see things. I don't mean hallucinate. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering. But yeah, I really like this obstacle. It's cool how the thing you want to do just works out perfectly. Even though that didn't necessarily have to be the case. Dang it. Alright, I know how this works now. So, bump up here. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Get some momentum here. Wow, I don't know how that worked at all. Do that. Slide through here. I see myself a key. Oh, I was supposed to go under there. Okay, it doesn't matter if I get hit now. But I need to respawn something. Alright. Dang it, I was not supposed to jump there. All I had to do was hold left, and I would have had it. Alright, let's hope that I don't have to go through the first half of the level again. Yeah, okay, I don't. I figured as much. I can't get the mushroom over there, though. Well, not that it matters. With the power-up filter here, it's not like it would have made a bunch of a difference. Let's just complete the puzzle. I think I've got everything down now. Right, that worked. A little bit less crazy than last time. I think I need to despawn and respawn these. They're not in a good position. There we go. Now it's easy. I don't think this part will be as easy as it would have been last time, though. Oh, never mind. They despawned and respawned again. So yeah, just do that, and we've got it. Nice. Let's see where this leads now. Another level. I'm getting all sorts of levels coming out of the woodworks. I don't I think it's gonna be a while before I continue on the main path again. Let's see. I think that's it for now. See you next time.